Theater. Theater. Richard. He's in the wrong place. Oh. Richard. Yeah, yeah. They're working on a new play depicting the infamous founding event of modern England, the gunpowder plot. A failed attempt by religious fanatics to blow up Parliament with King James and the entire court. The 5th of November is celebrated with fireworks and its equivalent for the 4th of July. The story has been told for over 400 years, and the only thing we know with certainty about the event is that it could not possibly have occurred as the government claims. What follows is Shakespeare's company attempting to write King's James version of the gunpowder plot as a play. Well done. Well done. Well? Well, at least this was a, as an ending. How does it end? Well, you finish that speech. The king, he snaps his fingers. Guards come out of the audience, they cut off your balls, and they throw them to the dogs. In that case, I'm in. Anyone else? <laughs> it's a good part. I'm in. Two reasons. One, this has been insane. And two, there's no chance in hell to let us say it. Collect all the scripts. And lock them up. Tight. No. And no, Richard. You've been outvoted. Ha! There will be no vote on this. I thought that was who we are. Not when it concerns politics. This is religion. Politics is religion for people that think they're God. And they're not a forgiving people. You went and talked to Cecil. You told him we're not doing this play. What happened? I spoke to Tom Wintour. He said, Tom Wintour, I don't want you speaking to anyone else. Do you hear me? Jeez, what else can I do? We present both sides as a trial. Trials are good. The king can come and dance on his enemies' graves, but both sides get heard. We can do this, Richard. I bet on it. <laughs> what? What? They had a bet that you could speak the dirtiest word in the English language in the Twelfth Night? There are no dirty words in Twelfth Night. It's our one clean common. The letter for you, see. You know, when they're talking about the Lady Summonship, what letters do they discuss? Her C, U, and T's. Her C, U, and T's. And thus makes she her great P's. How many times have I heard that? I've never heard that. This isn't some smut that you can sneak into a script. If it's a trial, Richard, both sides get heard. Are you insane? There are no sides. For Christ's sake, just write the play. Which? Cecil's. I don't believe it. Neither will anyone else. The people will see it for what it is. Bad melodrama. The play will run a week. And then we can get back to the 60 plays that no one objects to. What does that say about them? That they're stories. Harmless stories that distract the people from the insanity around them. That's remarkably like what Cecil thinks of our work. But that puts food on all our family's tables. Is that so bad? Maybe not for you, Richard, but I walked away from my family's table just so I could write plays. Before I'm in my winding sheet, I want to write at least one play that rings true. So, you all want to do this. Why? Okay. Good. That was a good